Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you are new, thanks so much for being here. I do this a lot with my hands now. I don't know why. If you're an OG, love you so much. Also, thank you for being here. Today I have a kind of random video that I just decided that I was going to sit down and film. This is very last minute. Since the egg head hair situations. Also, I was anxious this weekend. Can you tell? Um, but I have some products that are brand spanking new to me. Um, I think some of them literally just launched. Other ones have been around for a minute. Other ones are old products that I'm just going to put on my face. And I'm going to sit here and talk. Um, I do have some questions that you guys asked. This was like mm, six months ago that I put up on Instagram, ask us some questions, meaning me and Donovan. But um, here I am filming the video by myself. So I'm going to try and answer them by myself. Some of them were like very specific to Donovan and I. So hopefully you're okay with me answering it all alone. So sorry for not. <laughs> My ear is ringing. So I'm pretty much just not going to put primer on today. Because I'm going to try this out. And I want to see what it looks like on its own. We'll go with that instead of me just being too lazy to put primer on. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hyaluronic Tinted Glow Hydrator. That's what it looks like right there. Um, I got it in the shade 5 Medium because I wanted it to match my tan, which my chest is about seven shades darker than my face, so she's self-tanned. Um, wow, that's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Really? Okay. Um, that's what the bottle looks like right there. It's quite small. Like, w I don't know what to compare this to. How much is in here? So this is literally only one fluid ounce. I feel like that's quite small. Am I crazy? Let me see other foundations that I have. Hello! 1.4 fluid ounce. I guess it's kind of normal. I guess that's standard. I don't know why this seems just like so small to me. Maybe my hands grew overnight. I don't know what I'm saying. I haven't seen a ton of people talk about this product and it caught my eye when I was um, gandering around Sephora. What's the Ulta? One of the two. Um, it does have SPF in it as well if that's something that you care to know and then it has kombucha filtrate and marula oil. Whatever the flip flap that means. Oh first question, who is the most awesome dad? Guess who asked that? My father. You in. What do you want to do with your channel? That is... A lovely question. Thanks for asking. You guys already know that I would love nothing else than to have YouTube be my full-time job. Um, as of right now, it's not. Um, I am pretty much using it as a full-time job because I'm putting that many hours into it. Um, but as of right now, so you don't see a dime. Um, I love the idea of creating something that is completely my own and is my own doing. Um, something that I talked to Donovan about, my husband for those of you that don't know, um, is I have a hard time with um, owning things and being proud of them. Um, and in my lifetime, my whole 24 years of living, it's hard for me to look back on things and be proud of myself, which, wow, we just got really deep right off the bat, didn't we? <laughs> I look back and things that I value that I feel like I would be proud of myself for, I haven't accomplished because I've been so busy doing things that I feel like people assume I should do. So, um, moral of the story is I want my channel to be something that I am proud of, regardless of what stage it is at. Right now, I am proud of the amount of time that I've put into this. I am proud of keeping with it because it's something I enjoy. I mean, to be honest with you, um, I have quit jobs over my YouTube channel because the employer was trying to dictate what I could put on my channel. And I know it's a slow burn and it's going to be a slow burn, but at the end of the day, I am proud of my channel. I am proud of the decisions that I've made. I am proud that I have turned down sponsorships. I've turned down money at my situation where I don't get any money right now at all. I am proud of myself for doing so, doing those things because when, and when I said when, when I am able to make money off of YouTube and make this my full-time career, I will be proud of the way that I started this. And I feel like I am taking a good first step into YouTube. 
so yes um i hope that answers the question that is what i'm wanting to see with my youtube channel um i want to see it grow i want to see friends being made on here i would love to see um i don't know i just i i see a big a big future in youtube and i'm really excited about it and um yes that's where i'm at okay and like right off the bat let's take a look at the skin I mean, I think the color is pretty good, actually. I definitely think it's a little bit yellow, but I've, I've done worse. There's a nice sheen to the face, but it doesn't seem like overly shiny either. I don't know, I'm digging it so far. I'm going to apply the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Oh, it's a matte finish. I'm probably gonna hate this. I didn't realize it was matte. Love that for me. Okay, so the question is, what are your future goals? Is that not like the ultimate loaded question? Having YouTube be my full-time job is definitely a future goal. I think it would be really cool to have some kind of sponsorship um, through a company that I love. Keyword, a company that I love. <laughs> um, I would love to be able to move out of the current house that we're at right now. I would love to be able to provide Donovan with the opportunity to go to school because right now he is working full-time so he isn't able to really focus on school right now. Um, I would love, I don't know, there, there's a lot. There's a lot. I would love to be able to one day financially help my family. Um, so yeah, and I also think, and this is probably like <laughs> good gravy, long ways away, but I think it'd be really cool if I would be able to um, collab with like a clothing brand. I think that would be awesome. I actually don't hate that concealer. Can I just say that really quick? Okay, that's actually not bad at all. Briggs agrees. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just gonna quickly set that with the Laura Mercier powder. Do you guys remember when this was like the stuff? Like everybody and they mama was using it? If I keep looking over here, it's cause that's where my mirror is at because I don't have the best setup <laughs> right now. Okay, so far, I'm loving the way the skin looks. I think both of those products are lovely. I really thought I was gonna hate the camo concealer, but it's actually not bad. Don't hate it. Okay, now I'm gonna take some Hoola bronzer. Again, OG, here we are, just an OG video. Um, next question. Oh boy, here we go. Um, kids, when are you gonna have kids? When are you and Donovan going to make some babies? Um, I want to preface this this question really fast, okay? I'm not offended by the people that asked me this question. I personally am not offended. I do think that this is a question that you should not ask people though. I just want that to be said really, really quickly. You have absolutely no clue what is going on behind closed doors. You don't know if they're having troubles conceiving a baby. You don't know if they've had miscarriages. You have absolutely no flip flapping clue what is going on behind closed doors. You don't know. It's a very private thing that I feel like people are so, so comfortable asking. And for some reason, the second you get married, people expect you just to push out a child a year later. Like, some people ain't got no chill, none at all. So. I do want to say I personally am not offended by the people that asked me this question. Um, we also are not trying to have a kid right now, so give us some time and I might be offended if you ask me this question because I don't know what the world looks like for me in a year. So me saying that, um, the time frame <laughs> terrifies the poo poo out of me. Um, as of right now, we need to get our ducks in a row before we start having children. Some people, and I'm not saying one way is better than the other, I want that to be said as well. Um, some people can have a child and make it work. Um, I'm a planner, I'm not spontaneous. I don't like not knowing how things are going to work. I don't like that kind of stuff. I want to be able to be as prepared as possible before I start having a family. I'm not financially ready. I am too selfish right now as well with my time. I want to be able to 
have our careers set up before we have children. There's just so many things that are more of a priority to me right now than for us to have a family and to start having children. One day, if I am granted a child and it was before my plan, I'm okay with that. I will not be upset if that happens. But right now, we are not trying. We are not even kind of trying to have children. There is a, a piece of me that wasn't there before that likes the idea of it more now than I did a couple years ago. But the idea of having a child right now in the situation that we are in would not be ideal for one, us, or the child, the baby, the little human that would come out of me at some point. And I, like, I also want it to be said that some people just don't want to have kids and that's okay. <laughs> in my mind, I'm sufficient on my own. <laughs> so if I'm not good enough for you without a little version of me, then that's your loss. Like at the end of the day, I am completely whole by myself. One day when I have a child, I'll be whole and a half, okay? Well, I want to make sure that we are prepared for this child to potentially have the best life that it possibly could. And I just really think that this question needs to go bye-bye. So that is my answer. We will have children at some point. So let's leave that there, okay? Let's leave that there. We're gonna leave this question in 2020 because that's when it was asked. We're leaving this question in 2020. When are you gonna have children? Leave it at 2020, got it? Got it. Okay, next I'm going to use the Rare Beauty um, Naturally, is it Naturally? Nearly Rose is this color, it's that right there. If you guys saw my last video, you'd see this. If you didn't, go watch it, thanks. Um, the next question is, which I got from actually a couple people, what is the most challenging thing about our marriage so far? Or what was the most challenging thing? Something that I want to quickly say is Donna and I did not live together before we got married. So when we're talking about marriage life, we are also talking about the time that Donna and I first moved in together. Um, so for us, this will be different than for other people. Obviously every relationship is different, but when we're now talking about marriage, we're starting off with us moving in together as well. So the reason I am saying that is because for us, it went from we'd be around each other when we wanted to be around each other. Once you're living together, they're around you all the time, even when you don't want them to be. Um, and I can be a very irritable person. I'll be the first person to tell you that, okay? I can be very, very irritable, um, especially when I'm trying to get things done because I'm like a one-track mind kind of gal. If I'm trying to get things done, don't get in my way, okay? Um, so I think that was definitely a pretty massive challenge for us. Um, just being around each other when <laughs> it wasn't necessarily our choosing was difficult. Um, most challenging thing. I think the most challenging thing that we are still currently working on, and it's something that we actually just had a conversation about like last week, a couple weeks ago, um, is us being our own people. You see couples that get married and then they're a unit, which you are a unit at the end of the day, that is correct. But it is also something that I had to remind myself and he had to remind himself that we are also very separate people. We are a unit in some regards when it comes to big, big decisions, when it comes to finances, when it comes to um, really big things. Um, but at the end of the day, I am still Amanda and he is still Donovan and we are still separate people that have separate feelings, that have different opinions, that are not, we, we don't, we don't always flow is what I'm trying to tell you. And for a long time when we didn't flow, it was really just like, I don't know, it was like detrimental. It just felt like the world was crashing when we didn't flow. And at the end of the day, that's not the case. So I feel like in a lot of regards, that has been the most challenging thing for us is to realize like, you are your own human, you have your own friends, you have your own feelings, and those feelings are okay to have, and they're justified, and they're honorable. Same thing with me, and I just think that for a long time, it felt like 
it wasn't okay for us to have differing opinions. Obviously on big things, you kind of need to think the same or else it could lead to like really not very good things. But on small things that just don't matter, it's okay for you to disagree and to move on. You don't have to come to a conclusion every single time. And um, I think that was definitely something that was really difficult for us. And I won't say that we're fixed on that because we're not. Um, I really had to like retrain my brain to realize that I am sufficient on my own. I am worthy on my own and I am capable on my own. I felt very reliant and dependent um, and it took, honestly, it took the very first round of quarantine when everything shut down. It took those like three months for me to really find the time to focus on myself and when I did it was incredible and it was very freeing and it was something that I felt like I had lost myself because I put all of my worth in the relationship and it was Donovan and Amanda but at the end of the day it's Amanda and it's Donovan <laughs> if that makes any form of sense. I'm salivating a lot right now and I don't know why. I just lost where my questions were. Okay next up I have the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's not an infomercial Amanda. Calm down. Okay. It's a cardboard box. This shouldn't be this difficult. What the heck? God bless. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. This is like, y'all have heard of soap brows, right? Um, it's literally just like clear. It looks like a balm of some sort. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna take my little spoolie. Just kind of like rub it in there. Oh, weird. That looks like a lot. I'm gonna take some of that off. Kaylee, my girl Kaylee, would like to know a doggy update. Um, as you can hear probably, ooh. <laughs> Do you see that? Here, let me zoom ya. I'm gonna zoom ya. Do you see that? Dang. Dog update. Briggs is doing well. Um, he... Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Fluffy brows, there you are. Who needs brow lamination? Holy guacamole. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, Briggs is doing well. To answer your question, he is doing well. Um, he is gaining some weight, so we need to start taking him on walks again. Um, if you guys are in like the Kalamazoo area, where the heck do you walk your dog? We, like I said before, don't live in the best place, <laughs> so it's not like we can take them for a walk around the neighborhood. Um, so where do you guys take your dogs for walks? Let me know. Thanks. I am, like, amazed by that brow stuff. I have never had, like, fluffy brows. I didn't think it was a thing for me to have fluffy brows. Look at those. That's full fluff. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you out. You don't need to be that close. You see that? That's crazy. Okay. Um, he's doing well. He's gained weight. We need to, uh, definitely cut back on certain things that he's eating because we just let him lick the plate. What can I say? A dog's gotta live, but it's definitely not healthy for him, so we will need to stop doing that. Um, but he is doing really well. He hasn't had any mishaps since getting neutered, so that's really good. Um, he has had a couple ear infections, though, which is kind of annoying. Well, obviously he's in pain, so it's more than annoying. It's sad, but um, we were able to take care of those. If you guys, if your dog has, like, ear problems and stuff, we got Zymox is what it's called. We got it at, like, Petco, and it completely, like, took care of his ear infection within, like, two days. Um, I'm not a vet, nor do I claim to be one. We literally Googled it, and that's what it said to get, and it, and it worked. So... Maybe if your dog has ear problems, maybe try that out. I don't know. Don't quote me. But yeah, he's been doing good. So that's where I'm going to leave that. He's good. He's chubby, but he's good. And we're all chubby and it'll look good though. So it's fine. The silliest argument that Don and I have had. Ooh. Um, I don't know. Most of our arguments are pretty silly, if I'm being honest. Um, we just fight about, fight about stupid things. And honestly, it's usually like me just being annoyed with him. And then I say something that I probably shouldn't say. And then it just kind of like triggers everything. Um, I'm going to quickly throw on some mascara. And we'll just be 
about done. Just about done here, baby. All right, and then I'm going to finish it off with some Morphe set and spur. Oh, I just took the cap right off. Nice. Why is that so aggressive? That's so much more aggressive than my other ones. Okay, and then lastly, I did pick up the Anastasia Diamond Lip Gloss. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Is this supposed to be plumping? Is this supposed to be plumping? Excuse me. Excuse me. No. Oh. Mm. Kind of tingles. That's weird. It's very sparkly. I think it's pretty. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it every single day. And you can like slightly feel the glitter in there, but it's nothing crazy. I typically am not somebody that like wears glitter in my glosses, but I think this is kind of vibey. You know what I mean? I think it's quite vibey, especially with like a minimal makeup kind of thing. I'm into it. Um, somebody else asked what my favorite kind of videos are to film. Um, I really love sitting down and just chatting. Like videos like this are really fun for me. I feel like my personality is able to come out a lot more when I'm doing like sit down chatty videos. Um, but I really love to pick out some clothes and to try on clothes. I think that's really, really fun. Um, I actually have a haul coming up soon that I just purchased like a couple hours ago that I'm so excited about. Um, so those videos definitely get my, my heart racing, my soul grooving. I really like fashion videos, those are really fun. Um, but really, like any of the videos I put up or videos that I enjoy, I don't really ever put up a video that I'm like, oh, this was awful. The hard, like the harder videos are like product only videos. So like my Rare Beauty one, I had to take my makeup off four separate times. I know. <laughs> I don't know why I keep talking to the email notification. But I had to take my makeup off like four times during that video, um, which is why I only did like half a face. So I only had to do it a couple times versus doing it like five times. Um, so those videos are definitely a lot more time consuming, but I still enjoy doing them. Um, yeah, so really any of the videos I put up, I really enjoy. I wish that uh, vlogs would get a little bit more attention because I think those are really fun too. Um, but I, I really just haven't been filming vlogs, so maybe I should pick up the camera and do it a little bit more. Um, so yeah, to be honest with you, I really like all the videos that I put up. I think that they're, they're fun and they make me laugh and I get joy through them. So yes, yeah, so that is it for today's video. Thank you to everybody that asked me questions. That was so sweet. Um, make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also make sure to subscribe down below. Um, I also have my Instagram link down there if you wanted to follow me on the gram. That's up to you. Go ahead and do it though. That'd be great. Go ahead. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!